A PR exercise on an election year, reads the script from a page legislators under the opposition say the budget speech as presented by Treasury Secretary Henry Rutich was plucked from. This is one of the worst budget that uh, we, we have gotten uh, because what they are doing is a, a campaign, is a campaign tactics, uh, is a PR budget. Of course, we know that the budget business is parliamentary. I would describe it as a very dull exit uh, budget for, uh, for this 2017. Uh, why I say so is because we expected measures, real deliberate measures, to help cushion Kenyans who are suffering from effects of drought and hunger. But I don't see that in the budget. Again, uh, there is really nothing new. The budget of this year is reading like it was last year's budget. The delicate balance the Jubilee administration was tasked with in presenting the 2.6 trillion shilling budget was not devoid of political play, not to upset the nation to march 130 days to the polls, but to not also give fodder to the opposition in an active campaign period. But opposition MPs are an unimpressed lot. <laughs> Sio ati wana wanajaribu kusaidia nchi vile kwa sababu jubilee imezoea kuweka pesa mali haitumiki uh, uh, vizuri industry players taking note of the taxation aspects in the budget he clearly is aware of the risks he's very i mean at least as he explained them uh, the external risks we've talked about the external risks but he talked about that and also domestic risks he talked about the drought so I think in a sense it was a cautious budget from that perspective. But there are instances, however, that scored on the opposition side, such as the uniform betting tax of up to 50%, while those such as free importation of maize within four months raised eyebrows. We have now at the moment as they are talking, there is some ship with some maize in the Indian Ocean. That's what they want to flood the, the country. These are people we know, they can't give a country a better thing. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Live at 9.